Disclaimer, this bot is for server recovery only when the original owner loses access. Unauthorized use violates Discord's TOS. It does not copy messages, invites, or bans to prevent abuse. Use only with owner slash staff permission. Misuse may lead to account suspension or bot bans. Credits to the original creator, I've only fixed and modified the code for safety. Go to the first link in the description which will take you to Discord Developer Portal. Click on New Application and name your bot. Also, you can find the source code in description. After that, go to the bot section and scroll down and enable all three Discord gateway intents as shown. Then get the token by clicking on Reset Token. But before cloning, we should first invite the bot to the server. Make sure you select the administrator permission for the bot as it is very important. Now we have to add the bot to both servers, the one you're cloning and the one where the clone will be created. Alright, after adding the Discord bot to the servers, go back to Discord Developer Portal and copy the token. Now, go to our Discord server where you can find the server cloner script, download the script and follow my steps. Enter the bot token you copied. After that enter the server ID you want to clone. For the server ID go to Discord and click on the right top of the server to copy the ID. Now enter the server ID which you wanted to clone. After that check if the values you entered are correct and then you can also select to clone the emojis of the server. Click enter if you want the emojis to be cloned and the bot will start to clone the server. The process can take 5 to 10 minutes. It depends on how many channels are present in the server. Also please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Ok guys as you can see the bot has cloned the server exactly, all the channels, categories and roles have been cloned. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, all the useful links will be provided in description. You can find the source code in description too.